A regression model is a type of a statistical model based on which the value of a variable can be estimated based on changes in one or more input parameters. This means that the effect of each of the input parameters or variables on an output parameter or variable can be obtained. In fact, if we assume that we have the input parameters or variables as xn and the desired output variable as y, we can assemble a set of sample design points obtained from the solution or experiment process, I mean y and xn, draw in the form of a diagram. Uh, therefore, a linear regression equation must be estimated to predict the value of a dependent variable based on changes in one or more independent variables. If the variable y is assumed to be based on the changes in each of the input variable x, this equation is obtained in which each of the independent variables is multiplied by a factor and plus a constant value. These coefficients and this constant value are obtained from the estimation process. The epsilon also indicates the error rate of the equation, which is the same as the difference between the value of the output parameter of the hypothetical linear equation in a given value of the input parameter and the value of the output parameter of the experiment at the same design points. This equation represents a linear multiple regression equation. This figure shows a simple linear regression function that the value of the output variable y is only a function of an input variable x and the graphical slope line represents the estimated function for predicting the design points. The estimation process tries to estimate the coefficients of the regression equation in such a way that when these values are placed in the equation, the value of the output parameters in each of the design points with the available data to have the closest match, I mean the design points obtained from the solution or test process. In fact, uh, these coefficients must have values that when we put the value of each of the values of the input parameters in the resulting equation, result in the value of the output parameter of the equation with the value of the output parameter obtained during the solution process has the least difference in the same value of the input parameters. One of the common methods of the estimation process is to use the least squares error method in which the sum of the squares of the difference between the estimated values of the equation and the values obtained from the software solution is minimized. In this way, we write the uh, previous equation for the error value epsilon according to the output parameter y and the input parameter x. Then we bring it to the power of 2 and uh, write it derivative according to the coefficients of the equation so that after the process by the necessary mathematics a suitable equation with appropriate estimation coefficient with the least possible error is achieved. Therefore, in the DOE environment, different methods are used to define each of the independent input parameters which creates a specific model of design points and as a result the equation of change of an output parameter will vary according to one or more input parameters. Master CFD experts are ready for DOE analysis, consulting, training and CFD simulation. To benefit from Master CFD services including simulation, consultation and training, contact our experts via info at sign mastercfd.com.